Hey YouTube, this is your girl Lana coming at you guys with another video. As promised, I am continuing on with the Wet n Wild Dreamweaver series and this is going to be the second installment. To see the first video, click somewhere on the screen or you can, um, I'll link it below so you can check out that one. Um, but this one is going to be the second installment and this is going to be with the Dancing in the Clouds palette, which I'll show you looks like this very neutral um, kind of goldy bronze colors and you also have a pop of color with the purple in there so um, this is the look that I came up with I'll zoom in in a second so you guys can just get the full details of it but um, let me go ahead and show you the products that I used okay for my base I used my elf eyelid primer then I went ahead and applied the eyelid color on my eyelid this brow bone color in my inner corner, inner tear duct area, and then this purple on my waterline down um, below. For my highlight, I used my e.l.f. Single Eyeshadow in Buttercream. And for a um, like an outer V color, I used um, my, from my Coastal Sense 28 Eyeshadow Palette. I used this kind of sparkly purple color right here and also mixed it with this black right here which is a sparkly color and oh and for my um, crease I used this brown from the 28 palette also right there so um, if you don't have this palette you can just use any um, whatever you use for your crease on a daily basis you can use that color so um, if oh and I also used um, this NYX jumbo pencil on my waterline and I used this Ruby Kisses eyeliner and I used three mascaras I used um, you'll see in the video I'll show you um, tell you which ones I used first but I used the uh, Rimmel day to night mascara the voluminous carbon black and lash stiletto so um, let me zoom in so you guys can see the look so if you guys want to get this look which is a very neutral look with a pop of color on your waterline just to make it stand out but it's very neutral then stay tuned guys bye okay guys let's go ahead and get right into it the first step would be as always to apply your primer you can use any primer you want but for this video I will be using the elf eyelid primer you want to make sure to get that over your whole lid from the eyelid all the way up to the brow bone and blend well so you don't see any of the color. After that, you're going to want to take a crease color. You can use any crease color you want. I just so happen to be using a Coastal Scents crease color from the 28 Neutral Palette. Once you have your crease color down, you're going to want to take the eyelid color in the palette that we're using, Dancing in the Clouds, and apply that all over the lid. You want to make sure to use padding motions so that you don't get any excess fallout. Now there will be fallout as this is sparkle and shimmer, but if you pat, you will get much less fallout. Once you have the desired color for your eyelid color, you then want to go into that brow bone color, which is kind of like a shimmery, silver, bronzy color. And you're going to put that on the inner tear duct and kind of blend that into the crease. After you have that, you're going to want to go in with your eyelid color again just to pat some more color onto that and to blend those colors evenly. Once you have both of those colors applied, you then want to go in with your crease color and just blend out so you don't have any harsh lines. Our next step will be to define our outer V. I will be using two colors from the Coastal Sense 28 Neutral Palette, a very shimmery dark purple color and a black color. And you just use a any kind of pencil brush. In this video I'm using an e.l.f. pencil brush and just taking that in my outer V and blending it out with my blending brush until you have the color that you desire.
Now for the pop of color. On the waterline, we're going to be using the purple, which is the crease color in this palette. But first, what I do is as a base, I use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in purple and just put that all over the waterline and a little bit under it. After that, you're going to take a pencil brush or any type of flat brush and you're going to want to pack that purple color onto the Jumbo Pencil that we have just placed down. Okay guys, we're almost done. See how quick and easy this was? The next thing that I do in this video is I apply a black to my waterline. I'm using my Maybelline Define Line Eye Pencil in black. So once you do that, you're going to want to go in with the mascara. Now, I use three coats of mascara, but if you have your go-to mascara, that will be fine to use. In this video, you can tell that first, I go in with my Rimmel Day to Night in the length setting of the mascara and apply that to my lashes first. Once I have done that, I then go in with my Maybelline Lash Stilettos Mascara and apply a second coat. After that, I go in with the final coat, which is my L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara and apply that. Okay guys, one of the last and final steps is just apply mascara. It's optional to apply false lashes also. In this video I'm not, but feel free to do so. For the mascaras, I use three mascaras, but if you have your go-to or holy grail mascara, feel free to use that. The first mascara that I'm using is my Rimmel Day to Night Mascara, and I'm using the length setting. After that, I go in with my Maybelline Lash Stilettos Mascara and apply one coat of that. And then after that, <laughs> the last mascara that I use is my L'Oreal Carbon Black. I have all those and let those dry. One of the steps that I forgot in this video that I didn't show you guys was to use a highlight. Now the highlight that I use, um, I think I showed you guys in the intro, is the e.l.f. Single Eyeshadow in Buttercream and you just blend that out. Use any highlight you want. And so guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.